Using Functions to Model Relationships, Worksheet 15, Questions 12 and 13. An airplane is flying at 9,000 feet. It begins descending at a rate of 500 feet per minute. So where is its starting value? The uh, initial value is this 9,000 feet. The airplane is starting at 9,000 feet. And then it is descending at a rate of 500 feet per minute. Now, I also want you to underline that word descending. Okay, so first of all, we are going to be writing the equation and slope intercept form. So we're going to be finding y equals mx plus b. And our initial value is this 9,000 feet. So that is where we're starting. Now, a lot of times I will get this answer. For the rate of change. But that is not correct because that would mean that the slope is positive and if the slope is positive your line would be going that direction. But because it is descending that makes this number negative. So our rate of change is actually negative 500 feet per minute. It's descending and that's why I had you also underline the word descending. Because it's going down, the slope has to be negative. So it's a negative 500 feet per minute. Okay, so we are ready to write our equation. The slope will go in front of x. And the y-intercept goes behind x. And that is our equation that represents the situation. Okay, so now we're going to take that information and we're going to use this grid for number 13 to graph the equation that represents the situation. Okay, well we know, we know that the y-intercept, the initial value, is 9,000. So let's go ahead and write that again. So our initial value, our y-intercept, is 9,000 feet. So our starting point over here on the graph will be at 9,000 feet. Now our rate of change is negative 500, but if you look at this, it's actually going down by thousands. So 1,000, this would be 2,000, this would be 4,000, 6,000, and 8,000. So yes, we could figure out what it would be um, using this grid. We could go uh, down 500 and over 1 and so forth. But we're actually going to do something a little easier. Remember, the y-intercept is the value of y when x is 0. So the y-intercept is the point on the y-axis. Well, if we're going to plot this or graph this situation, eventually the plane is going to land. And when the plane lands, that means it's going to be at zero ground. It's going to be at ground level, so it would be zero feet, which if it's at zero feet, it has to be on this axis right here, the x-axis. So if we find the x-intercept, that's the only other point we would need to draw. So remember, the y-intercept is the value of y when x is zero, but the x-intercept is the value of x when y is zero. So we're going to take this equation that we found up here. We're going to plug zero in for y and solve for x. So let's go ahead and write, find the x-intercept, which means y equals zero. So we're going to take our equation. And we're going to plug 0 in for y. And now this becomes a two-step equation. Let's box this.
Go ahead and take your 9,000 to the other side. You actually could have taken the X term to the other side, and it's probably what I would have done. But since we're used to boxing our variable term, I just kept it that way. Okay, I'm going to have you finish this problem. Go ahead and divide and find whatever X equals. And whatever you get for X, that's the point over here that you will graph. Now, let me give you an example. This is not the case. So everybody listening, this is not the case. But let's pretend that you found that X equaled eight. Then you would put a point there, and then all you would have to do is connect the two. That's not the answer though. X does not equal eight. Find what X equals, plot that point on this axis, and connect the two dots. If you have any questions for number 13, let me know.